of a C3, you don't dare break. <laughs> because you've got no horsepower, there's no way to catch back up again. <laughs> As soon as you break, you just lost two seconds. Okay. So you just, you just, you turn the car and sit. Right. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's, uh, I think we started drifting back in those days before people know what drifting is today. Yeah. checking behind the camera here i'm afraid that the gopro may wash out the rapid blue paint but i'm telling yeah this is the jacket i wore in sunday's video i'm telling you this jacket matches this freaking rapid blue perfectly man it is so much fun how you guys doing tonight thank you for joining us uh, i gotta apologize a little bit for how long sunday's video actually was and you know what, I aired it anyways. I had so much on my mind that I wanted to share with you guys and I appreciate you taking the time to watch and listen. It was a way to remind you of my passion for Corvette and yet my commitment to its retail representation. I posted on Instagram and Facebook yesterday as well as the YouTube video a timestamp. So now you can go through that monster long video and look at some of the different sections and some of the subjects that we're talking about. Maybe you missed something or you want to skim and actually listen to that just particular section. Please do that. A video link is always down below for you to check that out. Or if you got the YouTube app, we'll put one right up in there for you. Yep. <laughs> I know, I'm just mesmerized at how actual close this jacket is. I looked so long to find a jacket to match my car, and I couldn't show you guys this jacket for the last couple of months because then you would have said, oh, well, he's going to order another Rapid Blue car, which leads me to tonight's video. Because, I'm sorry to say, guys, it won't be our typical Tech Tuesday format for Tuesday evening. Chuck has been so busy. He and I really haven't had a chance to talk much lately, but hoping to get back to another Tech Tuesday because next Tuesday, hoping to have a Tech Tuesday for you on the channel, but next Tuesday, Day. I'll be at the National Corvette Museum taking delivery of a car that looks um, exactly like this. <laughs> I hope some of you can join us. Some of you already reached out and said that you would. I appreciate that. The plan is not to do a normal delivery at the museum. I mean, those guys are awesome down there, but I don't need anybody to show me how to use the car. I don't think we're going to tour the museum. I think we are going to tour the plant. We start early in the morning at 830. The goal is do the plant tour, come back, hang out on the boulevard for a little bit, do some vlogging, and then go outside underneath the canopy, give away some posters and some t-shirts and stuff, and then have lunch and then go across the street to the NCM Motorsports Park uh, about 2 o'clock-ish for Ryan and I to drive the C8Z06. So if you're in the area, come over there and you'll be able to see firsthand our reactions and that is uh this is going to be a fun day should be about sunny and about 50 degrees so all good there now for a few people that are wondering am i going to put the logo back on the door in the new car probably not going to go here probably going to go up in this area here for the nacelles i want to save this area clean right here for race numbers and things like that so we'll talk more about that as we we've got so much stuff to add to the car oh my gosh this is going to be a lot of fun for you guys but anyways this is the cool coat that i was wearing in sunday's video and if you were watching intently i gave you five color choices of the color that I would pick for my next Corvette. One being the Elkhart Lake Blue with the Adrenaline Red dipped interior. In fact, I told you if I was going to reorder the car right now without question, that would be the car that I was going to get. So tonight's upload is a direct segue off that comment. I'm going to share with you the customer that got that car that screwed my head up for a little bit, maybe kind of second guess today. Oh my gosh, did I order the right car? I want you to meet Scott from Virginia. And when we're done showing off his car, we'll come back and we'll show off your beautiful rides tonight. <laughs> it's like what are you doing <laughs> five years ago scott and i had an opportunity to do business thank you six years ago oh was it six well you got i'm, I'm thinking model year first of the first you, of the yeah you got sports. the very first of the 17 grand sports yeah. and uh what an honor to deal with you let me just say something up front i hope it's not a sore subject i remember when we did business on that car it, number one it was a lot of fun i always love working with you guys but um you were sad uh, you were sick, and there might even been a tear or two. And we talked about your daughter, talked about your enjoyment of the car, and hoping that you would live long enough to, to enjoy that car. And here we are. I've lived long enough. Six years later, man. I'm going to enjoy another car now. You're doing. You're, <laughs> yes, you're doing much better. 
And it was funny, we were kind of just starting YouTube. I didn't know what I was doing. We now have a format and a direction and, and so much fun on the channel. Thanks for the support out there. And you've been watching some of the stuff now and seeing how things have been evolved. And it's, and it's an honor for me to share these stories and these experiences and these moments because that's what this car is, man. That's what this car is. So here you are, you got to C8. You are doing great, you look great. Thank you for the continued business. And you're screwing my head up because by the time this airs, I've already revealed to the audience what I did on my second, my second order, my car that's gonna be more of a track car. And you and I had great conversations and tracking in there. I love that. I'm learning so much from my customers, knowing that, like I said, Corvette is a culture within a culture, the mm -hmm. tracking, and it's great. It's not just Corvette. When you go to the track, there's guys with all kinds of different cars and they're enjoying it. Everybody's, you know, great camaraderie and getting along. And, it, that that takes it to another level it really does but this spec let me open the door and show everybody <sighs> since the beginning of c8 red has always been on the palette but look at this freaking <laughs> adrenaline red attack i get excited every time i talk about it oh <sighs> man and with elkhart blue was one of the five choices i presented to folks this was a very very close second along with the red on red, but oh my gosh, what a freaking great looking car, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did great. <laughs> you had questioned yourself on the wheels. You can't see them here, but the uh, the gray wheels with the red lip uh, originally weren't available on constraint, all this on again, off again crap that we're dealing with with Corvette. Uh, but I think these look best. Uh, I like the 20 spoke, I like the gloss, I like the forged, and they go with your theme. What do you think of your creation? I, when I originally did the gray wheels, it was on that build a Chevy, build a Corvette thing, an app on GM, right? Right, right. And it looked great. Sure. I wasn't sure if I was going to like the black wheels, but in person, I think they really make the car stand out better. Yeah, yeah. The cartoon picture doesn't give you the realization it of what... Doesn't give the nuance. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, it gives you an idea. Sometimes people have a tough time visualizing what the car is going to be, so that helps you in that regard, but don't count on that as being... You know the bible as far as what it's going to be the other the other nuance that I decided not to put was the red stripe down the center and the top the full racing stripe right oh that's right we did talk about that because it, yeah. it looked good and then at the last minute i just chickened out on, on doing it well so. see the red stripe is a different red than the inside so i think that yeah. might have been a little bit of a clash probably still will look pretty good but it, it could have been a little bit of a clash but the way you got it now i think it looks fantastic we did do the uh the fender stripes though and you did the you know because we talked about the calipers too on the build configurator you thought edge red but we did the bright red calipers to go with the interior what i love that you did too our buddies at acs composite man look at this front splitter what do they call it? is this the one v single piece z51 okay splitter, yeah. Yeah, and this comes out a little bit further than the factory, but it's carbon flash and everything matches. And he did the side rocker extensions, and those are in carbon flash, and it matches the mirrors, it matches the body blade, as I call it. I mean, the whole spec is just freaking awesome, man. I like, really. I like this extra lip, too. Yeah, splash guards, you gotta have those. Any extra protection you can. Yeah. And you did some tracking back in the day. Talk about your C3 for a second that you did some tracking with. Oh, I, I bought an 81 Corvette because I didn't have somebody looking over my shoulder at the time <laughs> saying no. Okay. So I bought a, C, a C3, an 81 four-speed. Uh, it was charcoal silver, as a matter of fact. Okay, just like you traded. It just just like my Z06 was the same color. Oh, so. yeah, that's right. I forgot about that one. And uh, stayed in a Corvette club with Hornuska Corvette Club up in Nebraska for about a year, and they got, talked me into going out to a track. And that was it. That was it. You were hooked. That was it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> that was it. Then I put a set of sticky tires on. Yeah. I was really hooked then. Yeah. And yeah. You taught me something today. I'm learning a lot from all you guys that have done more tracking than I. Uh, the low speed is a lot more fun. I think it's a lot. A little more safer. Fun. A lot safer. <laughs> high speed uh, gets your adrenaline up high, but the low speed will pump that adrenaline out your ears. Yeah. Well, just I, because it's it's quick. It's it's you think you're driving 100 miles an hour, you're driving 30. Yeah, you know, but, but that just, high speed will make your butt pucker too. Buddy. Yes, it will. Yes, sir. Will I've already had a couple of those, but I'm addicted to that. So I'm going to do a few of those next year, but a lot of the low speed stuff is a lot of fun. So maybe I will go to a stickier tire just based on your recommendation. So I appreciate but that. But I, I ended up uh, going uh, for national championship points three years in a row and uh, with a low speed car. Oh, wow. And uh, competing with all the other high speed guys and uh, ended up fourth, sixth and fifth. 
yeah. overall. So Talk about that um, braking situation where sometimes you said coming in some turns, you didn't even put your foot on the brake. Oh, it was C3, you don't dare brake. <laughs> because you've got no horsepower, there's no way to catch back up again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as soon as you brake, you just lost two seconds. Okay. So you just you just you turn the car instead. Right. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's. Uh, I think we started drifting back in those days before people know what drifting is today. Yeah, uh, you're probably right. But we'd throw the car into a turn. I'd actually throw the car into a turn, and as it was starting to catch, you just stomp on the accelerator, and hopefully it'll slow. <laughs> sometimes it didn't, but right. sometimes it would. Oh my gosh. Uh, but uh, that's the only way to, to compete with uh, the older, uh, slower cars. And how did you finish with that, that C3 car? You did pretty good, didn't you? I, I think I did pretty good with it. Uh, uh, nationally, uh, like I said, I had a fourth place, a fifth place, and a sixth place. Wow. Three years in a row. Wow. Uh, that's awesome. And a couple of regional championships thrown in there too. But. Uh, that's high speed, low speed. I even Q-tipped the car, showed it in concourse. Oh, how about that? Uh, okay. Did rallies with it. Uh, did fun conas with it. It's just uh, all the things that we could do with National Council of Corvette Clubs. I was doing just having a blast. Yeah. yeah. Being getting old at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's all right though. You're still having fun. Some of the other Corvettes have you had? What are those? <laughs> well, I had the '83, I mean '81, and then uh, I married in '89. Okay. And uh, that car scared me. You said, oh, okay, you had an 89. Well, I married in 89. Oh. <laughs> and then we sold it, and okay. then she left me, so, you know, one of those things. Right. And I had a, uh, a Z06, a 2016 Z06, and then uh, the C7 Grand Sport. Yeah. Uh, Love that car. Yeah. But everything I've read so far is this car's going to be even better than that one it'll be the best one you've ever had i have every confidence oh, it is different also driving had a, i also had a 1970 corvette oh did you the drop top okay it had a 350 350 in it what color was that white yeah all white with black interior black interior no power steering <laughs> so every time i go drive it I come back with popeye arms <laughs> but it's a fun car to drive because it had side pipes on it you know 1969 side pipes on it that were old okay oh they were mellow I'd go through parking lots and set off car alarms on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible me, right? <laughs> this is a Corvette guy right here. I love it. Those are great stories, man. I can't wait to see some of the experiences that you're going to share with us in the new C8. Um, it's a car that requires a lot more steering. It's an easier car to steer. You're sitting further forward, mm -hmm. and it is a driving experience that is really, truly exotic now. It, it really is. So I'm excited to see that, and maybe I'll get a chance to see you at some events. Ryan and I are attending uh, VIR sometime next year, so maybe we'll cool. see you out there. That'll be kind of, it's right in your neck of the woods. Uh, he's from Virginia, so that'll be kind of neat. We're gonna do the send off pat to Virginia here in just a little bit. Why don't we sit inside the car, show you a couple of things inside the car, uh, and then uh, get you ready to roll, buddy. Outstanding, let's All do right. it. Just for a second. Oh. That's the first time I've sat in this car. It's easier getting in and out. Oh, it really is. And Scott did the uh, stealth package. Look at this. Look at this. Really nice. I think you've got some black mats too. You said it at home. Black mats. I'm gonna That's going to tone this down. It's going to make it really, really nice and manageable. You did the black seat belts. That was a smart thing to do. I think it looks. It's a good contrast in the car. Uh, just everything you did on this, and this is just striking. It really is. Kind of bum though, the folks that get the 3LT convertibles, uh, there's a panel that's cut out of this, but we don't get the stitching. It's just a flat panel. So the stitched, you can see a little bit in there, stitch is only for the coupe folks that have that. But Well, sorry about that. Yeah, that's all right. You didn't design the damn thing, so you got nothing to be sorry about. Go ahead and fire it up real quick. You ever gonna track this car, you think? Eventually, yeah. Yeah. After I get it broken, I will. Right. Remember, 1,500 miles for the track break. 1,500 miles and two quarts, two liters of uh, yeah. go juice and transmission. Yeah, go juice. Yes, absolutely. Got, got to do that. Maybe change out that air filter without going too crazy of modifications. That I noticed a little difference in the acceleration in my car uh, with that. That works out great. Uh, Paragon sells that blue attack air filter that's been uh, very well received from everyone. This is a nice interior. I told you, man. This is the first time I've sat in one. This is the first time you ever sat in a C8? In a C8, yeah. Oh my gosh. No kidding. Cool. 
I told you this great GT2 seats are the a great seat. Uh, I like the back support on it. Uh, yeah, it's just enough support in opening there. If you wanted to put a three-point harness in it, you could. You know, how, depending on how serious you get with the with the tracking stuff, but. This is really nice. Nothing exorbitant as far as glare. People were concerned about that with the red dip. The red dip is just so striking in this car, man. All right, just about ready for send off, Pat. All right, man, I can't wait. You're pretty excited about this new one. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. 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 Yeah, wait till you drive it. Anytime you get a new toy, it's That's cool fun. that I got to sit with you in the first ever C8 that you ever sat in was your car. Well, I wouldn't have bought it except for you. Yeah, you're awesome, dude. You know what's funny? I remember there's some. I don't remember what I had for dinner last night, but six years ago, <laughs> I remember when you got home with your Grand Sport that your daughter took the keys and took off in your car. She did. So is Ashley going to do the same thing with the C8, or are you going to lock these suckers up? I'm going to keep them with me for a while. <laughs> she asked me, Cat, Dad, can I drive it? I go, yeah. So she's thinking she's going to drive when I get to Morgantown yeah. and go see her. Okay, so how old was she the last time? I mean... Oh, she was 19. Last I was, time. Okay, I thought she was like 17. Okay, yeah. 18, just, 19, somewhere around there. Right, okay, yeah. Pretty bold, taking off in Dad's Corvette. And not just taking off with it, accelerating. That's right. I remember she gunned it a little bit. She wasn't bashful. I couldn't believe she did that. She had a little, little racing blood in her like yeah, Dad has, right? Yeah, just a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm happy for you, and I thank you for... Uh, your friendship and your business considerations and your continued business mean mean a lot to me, man. Really do. I'm glad deal. you're doing well. Glad you're uh, glad you're healthy. You look great. You're Feeling smiling. Good. I'm yeah. looking good. I'm gonna be looking great. Yeah, now. you are. Hell yeah, you are, man. <laughs> we'll keep in touch, okay? Uh, you know I will. Yes, sir. I'll I, bother you all the time. That's all right. I appreciate it. Okay, bud. All right, man. Good to see you. Take care. Thank you, Scott. Seriously. Thanks, man. All right, we get to do the send off pat on his new 23 C8. <laughs> Thank you. Going back to Virginia, we've got to send off Pat for Scott. Thank you for your service. We got a thumbs up. We're going to give you a salute and we're going to give you a rub of the wing. You get it all right here, brother. And a very patriotic Corvette. Way to go, man. Thank you, Scott. Look at that thing in a freaking sun. Oh my gosh. Thanks again, Scott. And thank you for watching and thank you for your support and thank you for your business considerations. If you're watching this channel, say, hey, I wanna buy a car from that guy. Cool, thank you. Yeah, it's windy out here. I'm starting to, uh, <laughs> starting to feel like Jim Cantori. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed tonight's upload and Scott, our wonderful customer, it makes me so proud to deal with so many of you. And he had a great looking ride, but we've got more for you now. These are your beautiful rides. Thanks for watching tonight.